Hi everybody. Um, today I'm going to be making a tag bag. Um, everyone's very into tags right now. And I was I just got this school board for $8 at Michael's. And um, this is the Martha Stewart one. And so far I'm loving it. Um, can't beat it for 8 bucks. So I looked up some projects that I could use use this on and I found this tag bag and I said that is what I'm going to make. So all I've done is I've decorated, I've taken four tags, I've decorated two of them like this, okay, and the main important thing when you're decorating these tags is to leave um, an inch um, to where there's nothing that won't hurt your design, okay. So I did that, I made two and then figured out that <laughs> I forgot to do that. So make sure you leave an inch on the bottom with nothing on it. Um, so you decorate two like that, and then you decorate two, you can either just leave them plain, which is perfectly fine, um, or you can, I just inked them, because these are going to be the sides of the bag, so you're not really going to see them anyway, so if you want to save time, just don't do anything at all. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to, and I've already done this because I had to film this twice, but you, what you're going to do is you're going to score all of your tags one inch is in, okay, one inch from the bottom, you're going to score all your tags the same, okay, and fold them this way, okay, fold them in, or under, um, okay, so then these tags are done, I mean the two other ones, and then you take this tag, the two side tags, you're going to do the exact same way, um, so they have the one inch coming from the bottom, and then what you're going to do is you're going to, if you see this little angle right here, this little point, you're going to score on those two points, okay? And you're going to do it with your one side facing out. Okay, so this is my good side facing out. And I'm just going to score there. And I've already scored this one. I'm just going to score it again. Okay, then you're going to flip it over and score it right down the middle. Okay, just like that. You're going to fold your, fold your stuff. So this one... The bumps are this way, so I'm going to fold it like this, and then crease all of your creases, and all of your folds, really nice, okay, this side, and then you turn it over, and this one gets done like this, okay, and I have removed the little center just to make it easier to fold here because it does get a little bit tough since there's more reinforcement right there. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Next, what you're going to do, take your scissors. I'm just going to cut up right here to that score line. So just this edge right here. And do the same on the other side. Cut right up to that score line. So you have this right here. Okay, these two flaps, which you can either take off or leave. I'm going to leave them. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to put adhesive, um, and I've done this, but I've done this one already. But what you're going to do is you're going to put adhesive down the side. And I'm just using sticky strip because I'm giving this as a gift or as the bag for a gift, and I just want to make sure that it stays together. Okay. Okay, so then... I'm going to do this one as well, so let's just make sure, so this side will get this, so I'm going to be adhering on this side, Actually, let's just do this one first, um, so this one, all I've done is I've attached it right to the side, and I'm going to do the same on this one, so let me just take off the sticky strip along the side, okay, I'm going to just line it up with the edge, like that, and press down. So see what I've got there? Okay, so that's all I've done. Okay, and then we're just going to put the other side on, and we will be just about there. Okay, see, see how I did that? Just made a long line, and then eventually you're just gonna go like that. But I'm thinking, do this and then do the bottom. No, I'm gonna start the bottom already. Okay, so basically I'm going to attach, taking off these little guys, and I'm actually just attaching them straight down. So I guess it really doesn't make sense to cut there. 
I guess you could cut them off. Since I'm adhering them right to the thing, I don't think it really matters. Um, okay, so what you're going to do is take, do you see how I have sticky strip on here? I'm going to take this sticky strip off, fold this over, fold like I'm going to close the box, just like that. Okay, and I'm going to do the same on the other side. Fold that under, complete the box. Okay, so now this is what we have. Three sides are in. Okay, and then all we have left to do is remove the rest of the sticky strip. We have a nice sealed edge right there. And then all this guy's going to do is close on that box. So you should press from the bottom. Okay. And there we have an adorable little tag box. And what I'm using this for, you're not going to believe it, but we have a swap going on for my, we have a swap for my crop club and I'm going to package a glimmer mist right in here and I'm going to put some, I'm going to put some ribbon here to close it. Okay. And I'm just going to tie it closed and put some um, tissue paper and stuff in there. But how cute is it and adorable is that for packaging a glimmer mist? I should have glimmer misted this, but maybe I still will. Who knows? So anyway, that's my project. Hope you liked it. Thanks. Bye.